All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeen, and welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the Marshall Thundering Herd, here to give you their preview for the 2015 college football season. Last year, they did a great job. Doc Holliday earned Coach of the Year honors, leading this team 13 and 1 overall and becoming the um, Conference USA champions over Louisiana Tech 26 to 23 in that title matchup. Now, their long loss last season was to Western Kentucky 67 to 66 in a big thriller in that matchup. Now, this year, this past season, they had 10 players who made first team All Conference honors at the end of the season, but they're going to have to play without a lot of those key players starting with their star quarterback and record breaker Raheem Kato he is now in the CFL the Canadian Football League and there's going to be some big shoes to fill at the quarterback position now the battle is between both um, um, Michael Birdsong and Gunnar Holcomb but I believe that, Hol uh, that Gunnar Holcomb is going to be the second string quarterback at the beginning of the season now, also you're going to have to play without their top wide receiver and Tommy Schuler. He's no longer with the team, so Devontae Allen is going to have to step it up. He had 544 yards receiving last season. He's looking to be the number one guy this year. But there is good news at the running back position. They do have the return of Devin Johnson, who led the um, the uh, Conference USA with 1,767 yards on the ground, 8.6 yards per carry, and 17 scores. He should make first-team All-Honors again at the end of this season and possibly the player of the year. Now, on the defensive side, like I said, they lost many players, including the defensive player of the year of the Conference USA last season and Navelle Hewitt. That's going to be tough. But they do have a couple of players that I do like. Uh, DJ um, Anta, who had 78 tackles last season. And Corey Tindall, the defensive back. 71 tackles, just one interception, but 12 pass breakups, which is key. That shows that he does have good cover skills. Now, as far as their incoming freshmen, I think they did a pretty good job. Starting with their quarterback, they picked a 6'5", 200-pound quarterback in Chase Litton out of Tampa, Florida. And then they picked up a defensive end, 6'4", 255 pounds in Channing Hames out of Baltimore, Maryland, just around the corner from where I live. And then Von Davis, a great athlete from Mount Dora, Florida, which is an interesting pickup as well. Now, overall, this year, I don't think they're going to duplicate the, the record that they had last season because I think they're going to go undefeated in the regular season but they're going to lose in the MAC, in the, in the uh, Conference USA Championship to Louisiana Tech. Now, I think they, they could still, um, like I, I take that back, they could duplicate their overall record, but I don't think they're going to win the Conference Championship. I think that the Bulldogs is going to get their vengeance in that matchup. I think it's going to be a rematch between Marshall and Louisiana Tech, but I had the Bulldogs winning it out in that, in that um, Conference Championship. According to Marshall's schedule, they definitely have a good favorable schedule to go undefeated for the regular season but I do see them losing in that conference championship now the next time I catch you guys will be later on in this afternoon where I will give you more of my previews for the conference USA teams thank you for watching this vlog I'm your man Keenan McCall be easy